gentlemen, uh, welcome, welcome to Dare to Drink. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to raise money tonight for a project um, that is very dear to the people involved in Project Z, uh, Gen Z, and also very dear to a, a special guest that we have at the back of the room, Geraldine Cox, and it's for the Sunrise Children's Villages in Cambodia. A lot of you have had a chance to have a look at what the project's about, have a look at what um, those villages are all about and those orphanages that assist all those um, children in need over in Cambodia. One might say the, the, the left children because of the, the dire conditions that are over there in, in a developing country such as Cambodia. We don't call it a third world anymore, we call it a developing world now. Um, and we're really looking forward to not giving them a hand out but rather a hand up and that's what tonight is all about. It's going to be a jam-packed evening of fun and festivities. So aside from all this amazing stuff that's happening, we are here for a very important cause, and the very important cause is to raise some money tonight. We have set a target of $30,000. People cheer for the target, please. That means we're going to get the cheap. It's amazing. Now Liz atkinson Volpe. Sorry, bro. <laughs> is one of Australia's leading female entrepreneurs. Uh, from moving to Australia as a backpacker in 2001, Liz has gone on to launch Zest Possibilities, which houses a group of million dollar companies on an international stage. Combining a business acumen with social ventures, Liz and her team have raised over $138 million for charities around Australia and internationally. Big round of applause for that. <laughs> Liz, in 2012, um, co-founded co the League of Extraordinary Women, I can see a lot of the women here tonight, which is now Australia's fastest and largest growing movement of female entrepreneurs. This woman is a renowned businesswoman and certainly an advisor to many important people around Australia and internationally. She is not only that, she is also an amazing wife and, even, and an even better mother to her absolutely stunning son. She is going to blow your socks off if you're wearing any. If you are not, you should be wearing some to get them blown off. Ladies and gentlemen, the amazing woman, the founder of the project, as you can see up on the board there, Project Gen Z, and also the visionary behind all of this, who brought us all together, the amazing Liz Atkinson, Poppy. The thanks catcher. Stand over this side. That's really embarrassing. Actually, number one, seeing that photo. Oh, Can't see it. That's Seeing that photograph when I actually look a lot younger, and a lot nicer, and then getting that amazing, incredible uh, description of me before I get on set. Thank you for that, Andrew. He's well, a very good friend. A little bit about how this happened for us, because it wasn't by accident. Um, I guess my journey with Geraldine and Sunrise actually started back in 2011 and um, with also Lisa Stevenson who stood right here and, and some of the other colleagues that work with Zest and we actually decided to go to Cambodia to check out some of the work that's done on the ground there you know and it really kind of it really got me and the highlight of the trip for me was obviously meeting this incredible woman that's just stood right here Geraldine and actually some, some of the photos up here now me and Lisa actually got to go to Sunrise Children's Villages. Wow, this place is incredible. We actually met some of the most, the shyest, the most inquisitive, the most beautiful little children during that one day I was at Sunrise. I want these children with this, you know, they're already brilliant and um, positive attitudes to be put in a, a space where just even for a few hours that day, they actually open their mind to dreaming just that little bit bigger. You know, just to imagine what if. And then to back that up, we'll be running these incredible workshops which we'll speak about in a second, to give them important life skills. So when it comes to them, to them leaving Geraldine, you know, they might be able to just stand on their own two feet that little bit more, and again, maybe just follow those goals that little bit more. And that's just the starting point. I'd just like to really quickly just introduce you to the team of entrepreneurs that are coming on this journey with me. Basically, the six entrepreneurs that I'm going to invite really quickly are the ones that came on board that have this skill set that they will pass on. It's going to be incredible for the children. You've all met Mr. Andrew Mello, but let's just come up again, Mr. Andrew Mello. Let's give him a round of applause. If you don't know who this guy is, 
he's actually the winner of Australia's first TV apprentice. Does anyone remember The Apprentice on TV? Yeah. He won it! How about that? <laughs> Famous, grab his autograph later. <laughs> We've got Cheryl Ty, please come up, Cheryl. Cheryl Ty is the fan, one of the co founders of Cupcake Central. She's the best cupcakes ever, which we will get to taste very, very soon. And he's one of the co founders of the League of Extraordinary Women as well. Let's get Christina up. Christina Wiley. Christina Wiley is the founder and editor in chief of The Great Aussie Buy, which is a great online publication. And she's got all of these incredible journalist skills. And she's going to be doing loads of work with the children over there as well. Miss Lisa Stevenson, come on Lisa. Lisa is actually one of the managers at um, our company Zest and obviously been, uh, coming to us, or coming with us to Cambodia really has that passion as well to make a true difference. Jessie Volpe, my beautiful husband. <laughs> Jesse Atkinson Volpe. Maybe you should do that. No. Uh. Jesse is the owner of um, Green Telecom and of Zest Possibilities as well. And he's one of the most incredible entrepreneurs. And we are missing um, Sarah Regal who's today, today as well because she's actually right now in New York setting a business up over there, which is incredible. So we can spread the word even more. Um, but Jen, um, Sarah is actually the founder, one of the co-founders of Wealth Enhancers, which is an incredible company as well. Have I missed anyone here? That's everyone. So can we give these guys a round of applause? And a thank you to all of our amazing volunteers. Oh, this is beautiful. It's actually just being brought to the front here, and we have the owners of Will and Carol in the room I'm tonight. I might get Will and Carol to actually tell yeah, us all about that. Here we go. Will, are you going to do it? Yeah, sure. Hello, everybody. I'm Will. This is Caro. Uh, we're basically donating this piece called Circle of Life. Stunning. It is the big butterfly in the middle representing individuals. There's no one else quite like you in the world. And all the little butterflies that actually surround the big one actually represent all your friends, your family, and all the life events that have created in your life. They're real butterflies. Uh, they're all hand folded. Wow. Yeah, by with paper. By us. Yeah. It's ridiculous, man. Thank you. Hi, <laughs> oh, guys. It's, uh, it's actually ridiculous. It's amazing. So, every little butterfly there has actually been hand folded. Well, wow, actually a, sold for five thousand dollars. Sold for five thousand dollars normally, so it's all been handcrafted as well. Uh, it comes all really beautifully framed up there. You've got a glass front there, so the kids can't try take them. Um, you've got a beautiful, uh, beautiful. What would you call that? A frame? Is that the technical term? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful frame right there. So, and it even comes with a hanging string ready to go. <laughs> Not any hanging string, but rather a. What do they call that? A wire. A wire, yes. A wire hanging string. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the bee's knees version, if I should say so myself. And, as I said, sold at retail at $5,000. Here tonight, donated. What a wonderful ornament for either your lounge room, your home, or possibly the, the office. If you've got an office, what a, what a stunning piece to have is in the waiting area as people arrive. They will go, wow, these people have good taste. I'm going to do business with them. So, what can I see for an opening bit? You love it. You love it, don't you? Geraldine, you really like that, don't you? She loves it. Someone can feel free to buy it for Geraldine and send it back home if you like as well. What can I see for an opening bid to get me started, guys? Retail value at $5,000. What can I see? Maybe $500 to get me started. Be a great place to start. At $500, what a great thing to be able to put in your home. Get in at $500 against the bar. Thank you, sir. Bidding the auction here will take you a long way. At $500 I've got now, what's that, sir? Can we make it seven? We're going to get there eventually at seven now. At seven and eight, sir, if you like, straight back in. At seven, I've got to make it at eight if you like. Very relaxed by the bar. I'll give you a moment to have a think. Feel free to come up and peruse the merchandise. At $700 I've got down the centre. Ladies and gentlemen, handcrafted by these wonderful people themselves. I've known them for five years now, and they are people of detail, I can assure you of that. At $700 I got at the back of the room, sir, $800. Not going to miss out for $100, but if we think about it, at $700 down the centre, it is an amazing piece. Here's your opportunity to get involved. Wonderful donation by Will Garrow. At $700 now, make it eight before I go. First call at $700, if you said a bid, should be doing that bid back there, I don't think it's a bid. First call at $700. It's a beautiful piece, last opportunity. Second call at $700. Shit, looking over the food. Third call at $700. What's that $750, madam? Where did you come from? Fresh bidding on the left here. At $750 now, sir, straight back in at eight. You got the smile, you're my strong bidder from the beginning at $800 and he's. Madam at $850, you can't have one bid that's against the rules. $850 on the left, I know. 
850 and I will leave you alone, madam. I've got 8 now, make it 850 and we'll leave you alone at 8. I've got first call at lucky 8, must be an Asian thing. Second call at lucky 8, someone make it 850. I know it might sound not as lucky as 8 on its own, but trust me it is because the money's gone to a good cause. 850, yeah. see madam, I knew that you were going to do that. At 850, sir, make it 900 or 1000. It's all going to a great cause, completely donated by the wonderful people to my right. Please support their business. What's the website? Uh, shortstory.com.au Shortstory.com.au <laughs> Go and support them. 100% donated at 1,000? No, I've got 850. <laughs> Maybe 1,000. It's actually, in, it's very good energy to round the number up to 1,000. Trust me, I know these things. 950? 925? I'm Italian, bro. I'm going to do it. I'm going to negotiate. 925? Alright, I'll take that 900 card to the area. Have 900 dollars I got now, madam, at 925 if you like, to keep you back in the game. 25 dollars, that's a bottle of pasta. Hey, 900 I've got. First goal at 900. Second goal at 900. Third. Final call at 900 dollars. Selling. Selling, sold, sir. Congratulations. I made it work for it. Thank you very much for the wonderful donation. Tell us what's coming up next, please. Alright, so, Jesse, owner of Green Telecom, is actually putting up free flights to accompany the Project Gen Z um, crew to actually come to Thailand with us. So they'll come with us on the trip, they'll actually obviously get to spend time with all of the entrepreneurs on the trip as well, and we'll also get the chance to facilitate the Dare to Dream workshops that we'll be doing at Sunrise as well, so it's a chance and a lifetime opportunity. Wow, yes. Liz, I'm going to say this for the first time, Liz. Uh, last, Liz, last week in October. Liz, you've done very well for yourself. <laughs> well done, well done, Liz. You've done very well for yourself. <laughs> Jesse, very, very generous, ladies and gentlemen, for all your telecommunications needs. Please feel free to go have a chat with Green Telecom. Uh, and for all, what are you doing else these days? You've got a couple other projects going on. A lot going on. A lot going on. Just go talk to Jesse after this for all your business needs, let's say. Ladies and gentlemen, what an opportunity. Eight days trip to Cambodia, thanks to Green Telecom. They are going to be funding two people to go over. Everything that you pay for tonight will be a sole donation to uh, the orphanages and to Geraldine Cox, ladies and gentlemen, and a wonderful cause. So, Jesse's footing the bill. So this is, give up the cash, guys. This is your fair chance. Think of it here. This is a life-changing experience. A life-changing experience. What can I see for an opening bid to get me started? 3,000? Good start there, yeah. you're lean. Jeez, just the ninja strikes. The ninja strikes. You weren't even coming earlier today, now you're here. This has been a lean year. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the lean year. She'll be here for a lean year. We'll watch it. It's been 20 years at the time. 3,000, 3,000 is a good start, Peter Lee. But let's get some competition. Now, just is it? For one or two? We'll make it two. For two people. Two people this is for now. So two people. What's the question? Any other questions? The actual date, the last weekend. It's pretty much the last week and a half of October. The last week and a half of October, ladies and gentlemen. I will be there also. Second. Think about how fun that will be. I'm extremely entertaining. The children will love you. And the 400 children. And the 400 children, yes, correct. But I will keep you entertained as part of the package. And Geraldine. And Liz. And everybody else. What can I say? $3,000. Looking for an increase. I don't even mind if it's a couple of hundred, 3,200, 3,100, as long as we're going north. First call at three thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. I think you polarised that penalty. Like you've just done the whole penalty on it. Right. First call at three thousand dollars. Make it thirty-one hundred. Sorry, we got thirty-one hundred. No, we have a healthy competition between friends and family. At thirty-one hundred for one of uh, our sponsors, will it go at thirty-one hundred? Pete, straight back in thirty-two. You know how this is done, bro. You're a mogul. 31, 32, 32, 33, straight back in, 33, 34, 34, Peter Lee, 34, 34, 35, 34, 36, 5,000! I'm going to pay him six you can't have six with him, I'm sorry. Peter Lee, $5,000, Will the Carol. Five one. Yes or no? I'll give you a moment to think. First call at 
$5,000. Second call at $5,000 for penalty from Crystal Palace Catering for your Asian family Christmas and not Christmas wedding and birthday needs. Amazing food, by the way. As you can see, I thoroughly enjoy it. Third call at $5,000. Oh, shit. You guys are friends. So why don't we do? Why don't we do this? All right. <laughs> what did you just? What did you just pay? I don't know what she said. What is it? Six or six? Is it six? All right. Why don't we do this? You pay uh, six. You pay six. I will pay for Peter's flight. You can pay for their two flights. Done. I'll shout Peter. But you they both pay six. That's twelve thousand dollars for the charity. Yeah. Or for you all. Oh, no, two, two. I'll pay for Peter and his uh, wife or whoever he brings. How about we do that? You come with that? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah. Possible solution. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to. Yeah, do you know So far, are you ready? I'll take it actually. I'm going to cry because I've already seen it. Geraldine, so far, without selling the rest of the shit on the wall, which I'm going to do in a second, because <laughs> that's what I do, I just sell everything. If you need something to let me know. So far, we have raised nearly $33,000. <laughs> I can't tell you how hard I have to work and how much I have to speak to raise this kind of money and you've made it so bloody easy tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks very much everybody. I think I need more. I need more. So much. Who needs a balloon? Oh, this is hard. Really? Yeah, we're here. Better not get the power. Uh, no, everyone, generally, just want to say a couple of words. This is the end of a really wonderful night and the beginning of a fabulous journey with the people from Zest. And um, I don't have the words to tell you how much I thank them all and how grateful the kids are for what's happened tonight. Beyond my wildest imaginings. Thank you so much. Thank you. Go, go, go!